Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 29. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're here now for the SUV and sport truck open. Now, on the advertising, it says SUV. Now, I understand that sports truck exists, but the actual game sorts sports trucks as SUVs in the sort method, which makes no sense whatsoever. They should be separate categories. So, anyways, we're starting off with Sunset Peninsula, the Bernese Alps, Maple Valley, Nürburgring, and then Hockenheim Ring. Let's get going. All right, here we go. It's the Audi Q7. This car, by the way, is an absolute beast. There goes the sports truck. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my... What is going on? I find it crazy that that Mercedes is more powerful than this Audi. For a vehicle that looks like a dog's bollocks. That's not saying it goes like the dog's bollocks. I'm saying it literally looks like dog's bollocks. It looks disgusting. And yet for some reason... It's faster than the Audi. I mean, to be fair, a lot of people say the car, cars like the Gumper Apollo are ugly. I actually think the Gumper Apollo... I know this is an unpopular opinion, but I think the Gumper Apollo is one of the most beautiful looking cars out there. And I'd 100% have it in one of my dream garages. Sometimes I forget the car exists, because obviously Gumper as a company doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Why is it under steering like that? And why does it drive off road so well? Because it's an off roader! Bound. This car is such a nice car to drive.
nice. There we go. That was a good first race. Nice and short as well. Lovely. It was only a kiss. Now I'm falling asleep. And she's calling a cab while he's having a smoke. And she's taking a drag. Oh, what a tune. Anyone that says that Mr. Brightside is an overrated song is wrong. And I think their opinion is overrated. In fact, it's not even rated, it's invalid. Yeah. We got to say about that, huh? Jealousy turning saints into the seas, swimming through sick lullabies. Sings a little bit tail happy, which for an SUV is kind of concerning. Open up my eager eyes, because I'm Mr. Brightside. What a tune, what a tune. Oh, it's understeering like a tank. Is this got a V12 in it? That can't be right. Does that badge see V12? Oh my gosh, it does as well. Holy shit, imagine sticking a V12 in an Audi. And it's a diesel V12 that tops out at 4,000 RPM. That's, that's nuts. Obviously, I know that diesels have lower RPM, but for a V12 as well to be lower, whoo, impressive. Taking control. Oh, we're proper wide there. Do you know what? I feel like I'd have more of a chance of being able to control the boats in the crew too than this. This literally drives like a boat. Basically, that entire race was just listening to Mr. Brightside, and it was well worth it. And then Chop Suey comes on. Ah! Oh. Ah, the stability control's on. I was looking forward to just sliding it around the corners. Like, skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
there's not much speed penalty in these cars. I think as well, this is the first time I've done the full Maple Valley in this game, so. Gonna be interesting. Like him in my spirits. Beep beep, motherfucker. Get out of the way. Alright, not bad. I cry when angels deserve to die. System of a Down is, is, is so good. I'm still waiting for Pendulum to release more music. Like, obviously they've done Halo. But, like, are they actually going to do a whole new album? Or was it just a one-off song? Like, I'm really hoping the Pendulum do make a return and, like, do an entire full-on album. Ouch. Whoa! The future is in a bag, it's in a bag, it's in a bag, it's in a bag, it's in a bag. Finally, someone let me out of my bag, yeah. Time for me is nothing, cause I'm counting no bags. No, it couldn't be bag. <laughs> it shouldn't be bag. <laughs> Tangible. Bet you didn't think so, I command you to. Panoramic view. I make it all manageable. This is good. Maybe. Maybe. It's coming on, it's coming on. <laughs> Completely binned it again. Lovely. Lovely jobler. I think as well though, after that race, we might have leveled up. I want to say we've leveled up, but we might not have. Yeah, we have leveled up. We got the Super GT 500. Nice. That is all in your head. Oh, what a tune. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be taking the R34. I think that's a good one. So I'm going to take this car. Hear me tonight. Good my feeling. Let's go. It's time for the German Grand Prix. We're here around the Nürburgring. But uh, it's not a Formula One Grand Prix. No, no, no. It's the SUV GP. I can tell you now, I think I find it more entertaining watching someone take in an Audi Q7 or taking multiple SUVs and just ripping them round Silverstone than Formula 1 like when you look at Formula 1 cars for example 
they're these perfect machines that are just able to do whatever you tell it to do. This fucker, on the other hand, will not be taking corners. So it'd be awesome to just watch people wrestle them around circuits. It'd be cool. If no one else will fund it, I will attempt to fund it because I think it'd be funny. SUV Demo Derby. Ah, oh, that would be good. Hello, okay. Lovely, just randomly load up the uh, the home menu. Why don't you? Can't you see? You're my delight. Yeah, we're doing all right. Uh, so today's stream is probably only going to be about two hours, uh, just because then I'm going to cook up some food, edit a couple of videos, see what I can edit. Maybe get an early night's sleep. I mean, I'm shattered. We go not bad I'll take it thank you very much I'd love to be able to have a schedule again but it's just so difficult so I'm just piecing in here and there streams I can't I can't guarantee like streams I, I mean I could do I could schedule in some streams but the issue is like the viewability for streams I mean for the next week anyways. At the start of September, I might start scheduling streams again. Because I'm going to have a look at the analytics and see what the analytics look like as opposed to when I'm scheduling them. But by the looks of it, some of the streams have done substantially well, but some of them are just, meh, they're alright. So, I don't... I don't know whether the hassle of just making sure that the schedule is ready is worth going without a schedule and stressing about everything. Because when I had the schedule, it was a lot easier to do all my streams and everything. So... There is the potential that I could just go back to doing schedules again. It makes it easier for me to stream as well. So. Ah. Uh, 
Text a message, I don't know the number. Hey, hey. Not bad. I praise the Lord, the great, the Lord. I take what's mine, I take some more. It rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. Holy crap, this thing under sea is like crazy. Not bad. I'll take that. That's a good good first championship. I'll take that. Nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.